All right, here we are, carrying the cross, BYU, here in Utah. It's raining, so uh, we'll post some here and there, but um, pray that God draws people to the cross. All right, today I've got Lewis joining me, and uh, I've got Vic, they're both from Dallas both evangelists uh, just to join me in the walk so see what the Lord does even in the rain or yes. here in Utah where we'll be ministering to large population of Mormons yes. and then also on Sunday we'll be we'll be at a pride festival at a parade ministering to people so let's see what the Lord does Bizarre. They said that they ran into the car because they were looking at the cross. Hopefully they remember it. I'm sure they will. <laughs> That's for sure. Would you like to know how to get salvation in eternity? Guaranteed eternal life? Would you want that? Yeah. Let me sure and give you a gift. It's a little wristband. down the street with the cross. A couple of guys were staring at me, had a car accident, smashed into another car. The owner of the restaurant came out to see what was happening. Lewis engaged him, shared the gospel, and the guy gave his life to the Lord. So I guess the whole cross car accident was from the Lord, led to this owner's salvation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Is he in prison? He's in jail. He's in jail? How you doing, man? Jesus loves you. Doing well. Thank you for taking care of my family. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, have you repented and turned to Jesus? No. No, what holds you back? I don't believe in him. I do believe in him because obviously he's in three books, so. Obviously real. I just don't believe in the prayer of God. Yeah, well God. believe in Odin. Jesus Jesus sent us to you, man, and yep. or to your family here and to show just to show the love of Christ. We're not with any religion, we're followers of Jesus and and uh, he cares for you, he cares for your family, and I just believe this verse over your family, the kindness of God leads man to repentance and and uh, he is kind. I know there's heartache, there's pain, but uh, Jesus, just turning to Him, turning to Jesus is the, the best the best thing you can do. I literally, I'm, I'm carrying the cross to all 50 states and I just happen to cross your family. And uh, turning to Jesus is the, the best thing you can do. So glad I got to speak to you while, while you're in jail. Maybe that's a sign, brother. Well, would you want to make Jesus your Lord today? Would you want to make Jesus Lord today? I'm preaching the sinner's prayer, so... Yeah, maybe I need a little faith in my life, man. Yes, you have nothing to lose, but everything to gain. Yeah, so just pray from your heart. What do you want Jesus to be right now? Would you like to surrender your life to him? If so, just tell him, Jesus, I surrender to you as my God.
I believe a message that we're going to declare with the cross today is that Jesus loves you. And I believe as we share the gospel clearly, it will lead to repentance today. So let's see what happens. Taking the cross for a walk. dragging a wheelie and Jesus carried the damn cross. You're not carrying the cross. I'm just a little nervous on just uh, ministering to these people today and I just want the wisdom of the Lord on what to say. The gospel is still the gospel. It doesn't change but the Holy Spirit can show us what to say and when to not say certain things or listen to someone versus poking the bear and, and, and people are going to think a certain thought when they see the cross but I want them to understand the message of the cross and not just religion who Jesus is so really feel a, a little bit of a nervousness for today as we we go into this parade yeah so I wrote down a list of all of the things I've been called because of being gay being autistic whatever it is and I'm still proud to be who I am regardless of what people call me yeah my family is still Mormon and so it was a big transition honestly coming out and I'm like still not out to some of my family but my parents getting way better are getting way better way like better. very conservative very mormon family keep their god keep the child yeah it's and not they're that hard. learning how to balance it yes I, I believe that there is someone out there yeah. uh, i just you know i'm not sure yet all the <laughs> books and everything is very against what i am we're going to encounter people that are broken and humble to come to jesus uh, i'm not looking to to put, you know try to pick a fight or anything um, Obviously, we as Christians are going into the darkness, but my hopes is to, to, to go after the one. Just, I don't know, I uh, feel so blessed with Christ, and I don't know, I, don't, I, I see all this, I don't understand, you know, and I see the most crazy things in the world and the addictions and the things I struggle with in day to day life. And I pray about it, and I struggle with anxiety. And yesterday it was full of me, and I pray to the Lord to give me that guidance. And, Grace, and I, and I do. Uh, my girlfriend didn't even want me to come over to talk to you guys, but I just love Jesus Christ so much. I'm so passionate about him. Yeah, but your girlfriend brought you out here today. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. I want to pray for you. All right, so Ricky just came up to me uh, and he just stared at me. And he said, I love the cross. I didn't know what to do. And so um, he said, Man, I'm a believer. My girlfriend's out here. I don't want to be out here. And uh, he wanted prayer. He wanted to talk. So I prayed for him to have courage to stand today. Definitely had some great conversations with people. Uh, people were grateful, even though I'm carrying a 12-foot cross, they were grateful about the way we we're approaching uh, people. People were coming up talking to us. Uh, we did acknowledge, you know, that they still needed to turn from their sin and turn to Jesus, and um, I, I processed the reality of, of that. Uh, but people really enjoyed our conversations. They sensed the love of Christ from us, and I uh, do. I pray that they turn from their sins and they turn to Him. Uh, I know Lewis said they had one guy give their lives to the Lord. Um, I have several guys thinking, several people thinking about it. And uh, I think for me, really, part of this also is, I just feel like a real, uh, one guy I was sharing the gospel with, I uh, started to cry. I just felt really broken for him and broken for these people. Uh, they're really lost. When you get around lost people, your heart can be numb or your heart can break for people. And I, I think today my heart started to break. Probably gonna cause us to break up, mm. but my, my word to God, and He He comes before anything. So, and I can with everybody in there, and people passing out condoms, and yeah, and showing their genitalia, and just nakedness. Couldn't I couldn't get with it. So, in the name of Jesus Christ, you're standing strong. Standing strong. And your name again, Ricardo. Ricardo, man, if uh, if we came here for you to stand, it was worth it because that's really bold of you. I just pray for comfort over you because I know that that feeling of rejection, like, but you stood, like, you stood. 
because uh, you could have bowed, you know, but man, you're standing, and uh, I just pray that you keep standing. Jesus, I pray for Ricardo. Increase the fire, God. I pray for all the, just the reality of the rejection from his girlfriend. I pray, God, that you just heal his heart even now. May he know he's accepted in you, and you're pleased with him today for standing.